Peters. And I'm Mark. And we are the coding unit in the aerial imaging project being done in uh, Mr. Hendrickson's Engineering Your World class. Now, uh, we use our Juno programming to program our servo motor that will set off this camera inside. Uh, the whole project is to d drop this from uh, about 20 feet and have it take pictures on the way down and on the way up, too. Hi, my name is Joel. And I'm Josh. You guys just saw the programming part to our entire project. Now this is the descent unit. And our job was to build a device that would allow the camera to have a slow and safe descent that would allow it to take pictures on its way down. We used a series of formulas along with the weight of the camera and other information to find out the entire size of the parachute. And what our design consisted of was calculations that made us decide upon a square parachute that was aligned with balsa wood and wrapped in saran wrap so it can catch the air. And so it wouldn't circulate inside, the air would keep it balanced by flowing through the square that we have at the top. And which would safely let it take pictures on the way down with the shirt. Hi, we'll be describing the structure team's job, which was to build a housing that will keep every part of the camera safely secure so it doesn't disrupt any other part of the system. And how they did that was they made a cubic shape for the structure, allowing the camera to be at the bottom and the motherboard at the top, while still allowing pictures to be taken at the bottom. And through this, the program would run, running its course, coinciding with the camera, so that everything can work in place and take pictures all the way on its descent to the bottom. Hello, my name is Diego Alcantara. I am in charge of the payload for uh, Team Pairs. Um, this is the code that we wrote in order to uh, code the camera to take pictures on its way down. Um, and I was also in charge of the wiring of everything. So here we have the camera, we have the breadboard, which communicates with the Arduino, which actually holds the code. And then we have a motor attached to the camera, which actually is the one taking the pictures. Hi, my name is Morris. We're here in the Engineer Your World class, ninth period and we are in charge of the housing department, the housing subsystem. And basically what our job consists of is building a steady and secure structure, as you can see here. It's supposed to hold this camera, this, what we call an Arduino, and this, the breadboard. Now, on the way down, because we lift it um, with the descent team building the parachute, our structure is supposed to be lifted down while take, or dropped down while taking pictures, three at the max, while being only being under 350 grams. So that was a big task. We had actually gone through three designs, one including a hexagon, a circle, and a triangle, which we ultimately came down to a square. Now, as you see, this is our parachute for Team Pairs, and this was the job of our descent team. Now, they had to create a parachute that was able to support the box that we made, the housing department, and they, choose, they chose the hexagon design. The hexagon in the back and the large one out here. It's outlined in cardboard, supported by cardboard with a thin plastic covering and string which attaches to the housing. Um, a lot of research had to go into this to find which design was the best at stability and won't tear of course coming down and able to stay in the air for as long as we need to take the pictures. about to do is launch number one which is we're gonna take our parachute all the way up there and turn it on and it's gonna be taking pictures all the way down and hopefully our parachute will keep flight <laughs> Alright, so now our, t our team, Team Avengers, is doing run number two, which is exactly the same thing, just we're shooting video this time. And since our run was successful the first time, it should be successful.
and we are doing our first run for Team Pairs. Uh, this is the one that will be taking pictures on the way down. This is the one that actually utilizes the code that we wrote. So, you guys ready? And this is run number two for team pairs. This time, we're gonna be taking video on the way down instead of pictures. Are you guys ready? Jobs. All right, Eric, you go ahead. On our first run, we're, uh, we started our program and uh, we we're intending to take pictures with our camera and activate the programming as it descends. We obtained the main pictures and this uh, continued to help us and we obtained our mission and objective. All right, well in run number two, we were doing the same thing but with video. So we didn't need the program. We just had to turn on the video, send it up and send it back down and we accomplished it. So for our first run, pretty much everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. A parachute broke in like three places. One of the wires was cut for the servo motor. I wonder who could have done that. Yeah, silly mistakes. So. <laughs> but despite all that, we were able to fix it and have a steady, smooth drop down to the floor. And the video run also went very smoothly as well.